Hi, Internet. It's me again. I'm sorry, but I have a car here for you today. And on the DL, on Build Biology and some of the other cars, I'm kind of known as the guy who brings in the cars who are... Let me just say that today's car isn't exactly... It's more like... Let me just say it. It's... This is car of Time Attack, and these are my friends, Tony Circa and his son, Ulrich. How are you? Give me a knuckle pound. I'm good. How are Give you? Give me a cheers. cheers. We're going to have coffee in the morning here. <laughs> Fellas, oh my God, I go so far back with you two. Tony, you are UMS tuning, the UMS tuna. You have a very fast Evo. You've gone 143 at Button Willow, clockwise 13. <laughs> You have a very successful tuning company, UMS Tuning. And your son, who last time I saw him was 12 years old. Fast forward, see him driving some cars, getting faster. Now he's 17, built this, which is a very, very fast Miata. For just giggles, tell us how fast have you gone in Button Willow Clockwise 13? Uh, 151.8 is my personal best at Clockwise 13. What's fast these days? Sub 153 is yeah, moving. Maybe the low 50 is fast. Anyways, let's get into the exterior. Oh, tell us about the exterior of the car. Like, what do you got going on? Let's start with the front here. So I know time attack's very big contingent yep. on aero on these aero. days. It's really kind of simple. I just took a sheet of uh, sheet of plastic, riveted it to the chassis, or riveted it to the bumper, made some braces, and I cut out the shape of the splitter that I wanted. It attaches to the subframe in the back with two bolts. We have three aluminum brackets like that coming down, and then it attaches to the plastic, which is attached to the bumper, which attached to the chassis. Now, what do you got going on here? Is this a, a sleepy eye, like the S chassis, or is this a lazy eye? Or? That's my uh, oil cooler duct. Fabricated by you? You made uh, that one yeah. too? For those that are playing at home, how do you relieve fender well pressure? What is that? Can you describe uh, what that is? Air finds its way from the engine bay into the fender well. Normally, you would have a vent up top or something. I didn't quite have that, and we were in a rush to get ready for super lap. Also, it flexed out the fender a little bit because we were really, really close to rubbing. So it's kind of a dual purpose, I guess. So it's clearance, and then also, too, yeah. air that comes off of the wheel yeah. gets trapped in the fender well, too. It gets well trapped too, in so the fender well, and it gets evacuated out the back. You kind of did a like a little ghetto Voltex yeah, 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 uh, yeah. type of thing Pretty going much, on yeah. there. I like that. Got the other eBay over fender here. Yep, fully broken. So wait, 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 point out the fact that uh, you got them backwards for a reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, uh, these, what? These, these are actually the fronts. What? Uh, they didn't fit. If we, you got, if we like, put, a reverse, we, you got it, like a reverse stagger on yeah. your... Uh, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it wouldn't clear the front yeah. tire. So if he would have done this fender trick in the beginning, yeah, it, it probably would have worked, worked out okay. It would have worked out okay. That happened later on after yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm skipping something. Before, I, before we get to the back, when you talked about your tire widths, you're running square. 275s. Right? 275 squares, 275 right? 275 Hoosier A7s. Hoosier A7s. Yes. So, why the A7 instead of the R7s? Uh, A7 is an autocross compound, so it, it's stickier. It's stickier, right? softer, comes on faster. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Everybody sort of runs the A7s. Yeah, yeah. They don't last as long, oh, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Talking <laughs> about not lasting as long, like this is this is a kid on a budget here. This is like a <laughs> Taco Bell budget here right now. Oh, yeah. Um, you've never run a set of stickers. Nope, never had a set of stickers. And you're running in my life. 151s at Button Willow Clockwise 13, never had stickers. For those that don't know, stickers, explain what stickers are. Brand new tires. Brand new tires. You've never had brand new tires. Nope, always had takeoffs. I love that. So takeoffs are like tires that your dad has run or yeah. someone else. These are a, this is a 15 inch wheel. Yeah, 275, 35, 15. Who's your okay. And what wheel is this? Youngblood, Jongblood. The Jongbloods, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. A 15, seven? 15 by 10. 15 by 10. 15, 10? <laughs> yep. Oh, that explains the 275, yeah. I guess. Yeah. What sort of wing is this? It's a Buddy Club 3D. Okay. It came off of his Evo when it was gray too, yeah. And now you have a little duck bill here too. Whose is that? Uh, eBay Racing. eBay Racing, <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Now, obviously- That, that was on before the wing. I just didn't want to take it off and have so that's a the... that's a dual plane element then. Uh, yeah, I guess, okay, you, I guess, you, could, right. I guess you could say that. Technically, we, 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 technically, it's actually in the rules. It's in the rules. Duck bills are allowed to be kept. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Right. okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. And then you guys obviously have the hard top too. Yeah, so. that's how we have hard top. OEM hardtop. Yeah, okay. it's heavy. So Can we get inside? Oh, yeah. Show us the course. inside interior. <laughs> Old Sparco circuit. It's a little torn up, a little bit patched up with gaffer's tape, but we have the Race Pack IQ3 dash in the car right now. I can actually turn the key on and have yes. it light up for you guys if you like. 
Yeah, that's 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 a leftover from a customer that uh, it was actually broken. We sent it out and got it fixed. Really? Yeah. The seat belts are actually out of the same car that donated the tires that he learned on. Yep. They're <laughs> expired old uh, Strath harnesses. harnesses. We share my Hans device when we go racing, so he throws mine. So you guys can't yeah. run in the same in the same <laughs> session. Nope, can't run in the same session. <laughs> Fortunately, oh my, my car's been down yeah. for a minute. <clears throat> well, actually, no. We got him uh, next gen for yeah, his birthday gen. or for Christmas. Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Merry up and Christmas. <laughs> yep. And you also compete. I see this too. So so you also compete in NASA as well. Na yep, so NASA, you're TT. TTU? I'm in TT2. TT2, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We've ran in TT1 before though. Okay. Tur we can turn the power up. Our high boost map fits in TT1 classing. Okay. Speaking of a high boost map, can we uh, see what's under the hood? Of course. <laughs> this is the thing that's most impressive about this, that when everybody sees Miata, everybody thinks about like a fast Miata would be a monster Miata or did the 1.8 swap that everybody did, right? Nope. We so stuck with the 1.6. OG 1.6, yep. right? This is the original motor that we were talking about earlier, yep. correct? It's the original block. Block and heads too. Yeah, block and head. The VIN numbers match up. We built the bottom end, got it all ready for some boost. We used Wisco pistons, eight to one compression, manly H-beam rods. It's a stock I think, crank the, I think it's actually eight and a half to one. Eight and a half to one compression. Eight and a half to one, okay. Yeah, stock crank, ACL bearings, full super tech valve train, stock cam still. We made uh, 384 was the most this car's made and with this turbo. how did you go about making that? Well, that's a Evo 10 stock housing, but it has 20G wheels inside of it. Okay, how'd you come up with that one? It was his idea. For the longest time, it was running a, a stock Evo 10 turbo just modified to fit this chassis. So Jesse at JDL, I kind of told him what, I, what my game plan was. I wanted to, to, to do a twin scroll, internally gated setup, so it's not all complicated with yep. you know extra, two external yep. gates, all this stuff. Evo 10 and actually 8.9 had a two, but the 8.9's uh, footprint was a little off. It wouldn't quite fit. So we put a stock Evo 10 turbo on here. And, and on that turbo, we did like 330 or 340 or something all in. This one, uh, our friends at AGP Turbo, did this way back in 08. They built this 20G basically inside of stock housing to try to break a, a horsepower number on, on uh, Evo 10s when they first came out. And then they kind of left the platform behind it. That thing's been sitting in my office for probably five years. And uh, we're like, hey, wait a minute, we're going to a super lap. Let's uh, throw some power at this thing. Yeah. Let's do a little <laughs> bit more power. Another, another hand me down. You got more takeoffs. Yeah. More, more takeoffs. More takeoffs here. Yep. And then how are you controlling all of this, Tony? Um, I've obviously been working with AEM forever and a day. And uh, I use AEM Infinity in my own car. And I've put one, uh, a, a Series 5 into this car. That's like the, the only new expensive part on this car, realistically, is the, uh, the ECU. And I put all the right sensors in there. We've got a fuel pressure, oil pressure, flex fuel sensor up there. That's yep. like the command area over there. All the sensors kind of hang out down there. It's actually a factory wiring harness. I just kind of hacked it all up and adapted it in to make it all work. That's really the only expensive parts. Like everything else is basically used. It had new rods and pistons. Yeah. yeah everything else pistons. has been like. Rods and pistons and the head was built with new parts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys want to uh, put it up on the lift and pull a wheel off of it? Let's do oh, it. Yeah, we can do Let's it. Let's see underneath this thing. Ulrich, tell me, let's get into the splitter now. How far back does this go? Whoa, uh, it goes okay. to the center line of the wheels. Okay. As per uh, GTA rules. Okay, for so limited for limited. For limited, limited class. Yep. So this is what keeps you in limited, essentially, with the exception yeah, of the actually, tires. No flat so, actually, you yep. missed the mark a little bit. You're about an inch too far back. Oh, oh, oh tech. Oh. Wow. Dang. So it's not quite a limited car quite. now. Just barely. You cut an inch oh, but you know what? You just there. take an inch off. That's what I tell the ladies. So, so. Um, <laughs> off your expectations. <laughs> yeah, off their expectations. <laughs> So that goes back to there. Uh, let's get into the suspension and brakes. What do we have for suspension? Uh, we have AST 5100s. Oh, nice. 1,000 okay. pound springs front, 500 rear. Okay. Did so you, uh, is that kind of a standard Miata thing? Or pretty is that... common. Yeah, okay. it actually came off of uh, one of our local guys that races, uh, was on his car for three or four seasons and we bought them used for a decent deal. Yeah. It's Sensing actually a local. takeoffs are the theme here, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. The, the brakes, brakes are new. new. What are Christmas these? Present, uh, those I are Willwood Dynalites. Those are Dynalites, yep, okay. Uh, sway bar? Uh, Godspeed. Project. Godspeed sway bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. OG Ken Soon stuff. Huh? Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. That's exactly who it came from, and actually. I, I love the way I want to say something when you guys were pulling the tires off you made a comment that the passenger side front is the only tire no. currently on the car that's not corded. I didn't, I didn't confirm that yet. I didn't confirm that yet. <laughs> but so, I, so you get every bit of use out of your tires oh, yeah. then. So. Yeah, if, okay. if, I, if, I, don't well, see, if so I don't see cords, it, let, it, let me give you a little detail back here. You see how the, the over fender's broken? 
That was for me driving it back from an event, from a track event in Phoenix. And a tire and the, 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 It was no, flapping. No, it was flapping. as a chunk coming off the tire. So it was sitting there slapping along and broke, broke that thing off. But it still held air though, right? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see the air, but home, it was in there. Home, home. Yeah. So that's all you need. Yeah. That's all you need. Get off to the back. This is where you guys cut the bumper. Yeah. yeah. What exhaust? Uh, it was something that came with a chassis. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it was something that I had no idea. Yeah, I had a, it, it had actually, a muffler on it. We took it. Yeah, it had. It had yeah. uh, I think it's actually an old racing beat or something. It had this giant muffler in the back that we could uh, run some of the local tracks with sound limits on. Okay. Yeah. Our bash frame rails. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Two hundred eighty plus thousand yes. mile chassis. So, yeah. I like that. So. Yeah, pretty oh beat. My God, can't believe it. Future plans for the car. Probably get rid of this chassis. Start with Didn't, something new or start with another, an NA Miata. Another NA Miata. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can find a clean one with If we can find a clean one with straight frame yeah. rails. You know, time attack royalty here. It's like father, son, and both getting into the 140s. Uh, you think you got a 143 in it to keep I'd up with that? 143. I don't know about that. <laughs> Give me a couple of years. Give me a yeah. couple of years. <laughs> I'm shooting for the 30s. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> wow. We have a rivalry going on. Man. First to 30. Oh, first, yeah, first to 30. 30. First, first to 30. To, first to 30. Uh, not not, in, passes the not in years, car. but in time, right? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> I think Tony and I yeah, would yeah, win yeah, the first yeah. to 30. The first 30 <laughs> I won it. <laughs> a little bit ago. All right. Thank you so much, Ulrich. Thank you for coming out, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to leave you with some bent frame rails here. else to say except that this is the best dad ever and apologies to my kids for having the worst dad <laughs> ever so